The devastating wildfires in Northern California could get even worse today. Why? Because those gusty winds are now threatening to spread the flames. A fourth person has died in the Zog fire. That's near the Oregon border. Two firefighters needed their emergency shelters to save themselves from the glass fire that was burning through the wine country north of San Francisco. They are just two of nearly 30 fires that are still burning all over California this morning. Jonathan Bigliotti is watching the glass fire in Calistoga. Jonathan, good morning. Gail, good morning to you. Wine country bracing for another round of destruction. Wind gusts expected to reach 30 miles per hour. Temperatures around 100 degrees. That's a volatile mix as these flames continue to burn out of control deep in the mountains. Officials say the next two days are crucial in containing the glass fire with winds expected to pick up through tomorrow. Now's the time for our firefighters to uh, buckle down. The fire has forced the evacuation of tens of thousands of people and dozens have lost their homes, including St. Helena resident Sean Mayer. I'm just stunned. I never thought of really fire danger here. I just thought I'm Mayer says his brother also lost his home, as did his 87-year-old father. What was that conversation like with your father when you called him up? We both cried and he said, I can't believe it. You know, there's just great memories at this, this property that my dad owned. So it's, uh, it's tough. Meanwhile, Napa's lucrative wine industry now faces an uncertain future. The San Francisco Chronicle lists more than a dozen wineries that have been damaged or destroyed. This is the Fairwinds Estate Winery in Calistoga, which appears to have lost its tasting room, bottling operations, fermentation tanks, and much of its stored wine. And the owner of the Hourglass Winery, less than two miles away, says between COVID and the smoke from last month's fires, his business was already hurting even before his property burned. It starts to have a psychological effect, but, you know, we're an incredibly resilient community. And firefighters are working 48-hour shifts to put out these flames before the winds pick up later this afternoon. The glass fire stands at just 2% containment. Fire crews have a long day ahead. Anthony. They sure do, Jonathan. Thank you.